Kobe. Kobe Bryant. He's my idol. One of the best, if not the best, of basketball. But it was his work ethic. This guy failed at 100% countless times. And he taught me that like, if you want something, you got to put yourself out on the line. Like when he passed and Madison Square Garden turned to Laker colors, I just went there and I just sat there and I, for like an hour. I felt like it was the closest I could do to be back in LA with all the people that I knew loved him, you know? The truth of the matter is, the only reason for pockets is not for your phone. I mean, for your phone, but you really need it for snacks. I feel unsettled going somewhere that I don't have snacks for. Sharing food feels like warmth and it feels like tradition and ritual. I can't know what's inside your head, actually, but like we can actually taste the exact same thing. It feels like spiritual or emotional in a way for me. Food, I'm telling you, food. How do you turn a duck into a successful soul singer? You put it in the microwave until it's Bill Withers. Stop laughing, you're ruining it. <laughs> You know what I love about New York? Once I was on the subway and I was really upset and I started to cry and uh, this lady was like, hey, it's gonna be okay. And like, I didn't know her, I've never seen her again, but that's like how New York shows up for each other. Like New Yorkers got each other's backs. I, I was walking through New York yesterday and I realized, off the cuff, where you hold your head is your perspective on life, right? You keep your head center, you're very realistic, you see what's going on in the world. And I realize that I spend so much of my time up here, like, dreaming. So now can I negotiate between up and reality until my future becomes my reality? Off the cuff. <laughs> Off the cuff. <laughs> I think that there's magic in every human being and you can really see it in children. My grandma used to tell me that babies have God in them. They just are divine. I think we kind of lose that a little bit as we get older. We lose our connection to what's really important. I think I'm starting to find it again. I want to be a good example. That's my, my life goal is, is to make this world a better place for children because they deserve everything. Aside from being an actor, I really want to teach, particularly children of color, creative writing. Something I realized, like, I never really was exposed to any, like, black authors. I think once I started exploring things outside of a traditional academic structure, my writing really opened up because my reading opened up. I, I just really want to pass that on to kids a lot sooner than I learned it. I think I love being on an island. Islands teach me how solitude is not necessarily about being alone, but it's actually about being in relationship to others. When I was younger, I thought being alone meant sadness, but actually there's a lot of joy in finding how you relate to nature, you know? I'm so happy here. I grew up in Boulder, Colorado, and I still live for nature. I really value that feeling of being the only person for miles. When I was little, my dream was to be a park ranger and to own a, like a dog farm in Colorado. And then I fell in love with acting, but I think someday I will have my ranch with my dog farm. Oh, you know what would be good actually? Is if this is, instead of a dock, this is just my pitch to be on Survivor. This is my place. This is my land. I can tell you what to eat and what not to eat. This is what I call resource. This will be enough calcium to last you months. Very important to stay hydrated. Of course, there is the subject of predators. If you ever find yourself in the presence of a grizzly bear, there's one simple tactic I'm gonna advise. One clean jerk of the wrist. I think I love puzzles because I can't do math, but this feels like solving a problem that I can do. I don't like doing them with people because I all, I'm just competitive. Like I don't want any help. I really liked being an only child growing up. I played by myself so much that the fact that I want to do the puzzle by myself makes sense. That tracks. 
It's my Scorpio moon. What can I what can I say? What's your star sign, Felix? Um, I'm a Pisces sun with a Libra moon. I actually don't believe any of this. That's clear, right? But I do think it's fun. Uh, okay, Pisces horoscope daily and today. Don't let old insecurity interfere with your effectiveness. That's a good lesson. That actually is... See, that's why they're good, because even though, like, of course that could be true for many, many people today, it still is good advice. Thank you. You get a treat! I was thinking about this yesterday, how I learned unconditional love from dogs. I did. The feeling you get when you go away and then someone meets you with that much energy when you open the door, it's just like, am I even deserving? But they think so. And they just go, all I have is love, so I'm gonna give you all of it. I think dogs are an extension of family and home, you know? This is my last will and testament. I've never ridden a bike before because I, for a lot of reasons, but also because I was homeschooled. It's not my fault. <laughs> Riding the bike for the first time. I was homeschooled and I had head gear as a kid. Can I go now? Right. I mean, I really think that most piano is, it's a storytelling, ultimately. With the music that I like, that's probably why I like Rachmaninoff so much because he takes you on a complete journey. And a lot of times the journey doesn't end with great resolution. And it's difficult to talk about. Human language fails us at a certain point, right? Um, music is the interim. It says all the unspeakable things and all the things that, that go unsaid. Cool. Good. I come here when I can to Really just like escape. Home is a place, rather should be a place of sanctuary. And sometimes it's not that because there are so many obligations at home. All your work is there, all your housework is there. And there's no housework to do on a boat. You no know, calls to take on a boat. Or you don't have any worries. I really revel in good artists. Artists that, artists that tell stories. Artists that take you on a journey. Who didn't care about what people thought about them, just, just went out there and did what they loved, their passion. And I can't wait to be that kind of artist, you know, to inspire. I wanna do that. One day.